Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> in the garage, I'm Austin. I'm Jeff. This is a special edition of In the Garage because we are not in the garage. We are in a car driving in the garage on the road mobile. Yes, right in the garage mobile. Heading to this open mic at the caravan. This is how we're going to do this today. We're going to kill two birds stoned. You're going to get two birds stoned at once. Two birds stoned at once. That's how we're going to do this, man. Hey, real quick though, shout out to the, uh, uh, I said the other day, shout out to the sciatic nerve, man. The sciatic nerve? Yeah, sciatic nerve. In these crazy times with the COVID, um, the sciatic nerve gets a little break from getting all the blame because I always hear people. <laughs> <laughs> Took off, man. Always. Tesla, you're driving. <laughs> I always hear people complain about their sciatic nerve and always getting the blame and so now everything gets the blame towards COVID. I mean you call for it's feeling a little sick and uh, yes. it's automatically COVID. So just shout out the sciatic nerve. Uh you don't get uh much respect. Uh and I don't you know I, what I feel like is people they complain more about their body parts and instead of appreciating their body parts. Like like people complain about the sciatic nerve. I, I want to say thank you, sciatic nerve, for being there. Mm. Now, is this like a? Do you have sciatic sciatic nerve issues? I uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> My but, damn sciatic nerve. <laughs> do you think that? Uh, have you had Have you had people cough and then yell Corona at mm. work? People say this at work. No, not at work. I've probably heard it somewhere, but not at work. Damn. They're at work all the time, man. Someone sneezes, someone's like, Corona, like in the distance, like in another office. And uh, that's just how they're treating it, man. Yeah, I mean, everything, you get a little, you feel a little bit under weather. I smell so. So, man, how you been? Anything new? Railroad. <laughs> Man, uh, pretty good. Uh, just doing comedy, living my life, and uh, loving it, man. Been in a really good mood here lately. Where you been doing comedy at, my friendo? Uh, let's say I did the Laughing Post. There was the finals of that, um, you know, little competition thing. Um, took third place in that, and then uh, got to open up for Donnie Baker at the Caravan. Just this past weekend, right? Just this past weekend. Uh, nice. Great weekend. Loved it. Had fun. Uh, and that's about it. Got a weekend coming up next weekend. Opened them for Ed and May at the Caravan. So, how about you, dude? Nice, my brother. Uh, I got this uh, a thing September 19th in Evansville that I'm doing that this guy actually wants me to come up with like a video promo for this thing. And so now I'm thinking about doing something work related where I'm on a forklift or something where I'm like, you know, doing like home improvement kind of thing. Yeah. Talking about uh, where it's going to be at. People should come out to it. Oh, that'd be easy for you, man. Creative. Thanks, man. Creative genius here. This is. Oh, quit it. This is the millennials, uh, James Cameron. <laughs> oh, yes. Keep your eye on Terminator 2. <laughs> my, the, my, my point of it uh no thanks man i appreciate it. you yourself also very creative funny i want to want to give this guy i'm going to touch his uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> uh but this guy here he helps me improve on my jokes no we help oh, each yeah. other you got to help oh, each yeah, other that's, that's right. what that's what the comedy should be about the writing sessions you got to help each other now i will say i will ask this this uh Goatfish escape joke. We were discuss we were texting about this earlier for the folks at home. But what is? Can you say this joke to me? Because I feel like I, I couldn't read it right. I'm having trouble reading the where the goatfish uh, escapes. <laughs> do I want to do it on here? Is this where I want to? Is this where I want to debut it? Uh, yeah, you give people a taste. This is the uh, <laughs> raw version of it. Alright, Because so you know everyone in the crowd when they watch you are going to hear this first. This is very. the very beginning stages of this. Oh, yes. Joke. Disclaimer. So, like, uh. 
There goes a Riker. Can't have Riker, man. Okay. I want it. Got a pool table instead. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I had this uh, goldfish, and uh, I came home one day, and it was gone. And my parents said uh, it ran away. And they tried saying it uh, got into some trouble and registered itself into Fishness Protection Agency. <laughs> and they said it got, they said it, the only place it could go, it lives somewhere in Nevada. So I'm like, I did my research on Nevada and like, how bad of a fish or pet owner am I if this fish would rather live in the driest place in America than to be in this tank of water. <laughs> it's somewhere, I mean, it's it's the very, very beginning stages. It's just a premise right now. Once I get the together, and then the, and then, <laughs> and then that. And a couple of these. <laughs> and a couple of these with some of this, with a little of that. Well, dude, I will say this, man, that, uh, with riding, I rode during lunch today, which was nice. I was texting you at 10 o'clock break, 15 minute break, we texted. And then uh, during lunch, I did some more riding. I found two jokes. Like, I found this uh, porn store joke. Yeah. And then for some reason, three notes down, a totally, a totally different thing was 401k. And I was like, oh, KY Chili. And then, uh, yeah. So it was like three notes down. I was able to, I haven't tried it out yet. You ever been inside of a porn store? Yeah, I have. Yeah. yeah. I, I've gone to, you ever gone past uh, 65 South, like you're going towards Bowling Green? And uh, you're like, uh, where's the cave? Maybe, uh, no. Okay, down 65 South, uh, like if you're heading towards Bowling Green from Louisville, they, uh, there's this giant ass porn store on the right side of the interstate. But it's, what's crazy is it's a whole mall, but the porn store is the only small store that's there. The whole mall isn't the porn store, it's just a small little outlet. Like, it's like a break, like a like a hot topic, but it's the only hot topic in the whole mall. <laughs> so this porn store is the only store there? Yes. There's nothing else? Nothing else. And it's bizarre because I wonder, that's the one you've been in. Yes. Well, no, I've been the one in Louisville, off of Dixie, right near Roosters. Dixie Manor. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> A little filthy, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I mean, they, their toys are sanitized, I'm sure. <laughs> Used. But dude, I will say that uh, what's interesting, man, is from my experience, uh, and I've been to one downtown too in Louisville. That store. I just like to check out what they got. Is that La Boutique? Yeah, I think so. In the corner downtown, near yeah. Second Street Bridge. I think I've been there before. I, I just like to browse around. I, I never, I've bought stuff from them before, but uh, I've always noticed the majority of them, someone has like a extreme uh, arm disability. I think it's interesting that the worker. Yeah, the person behind the counter. Like, say I've been to three stores, right? Yeah. Two out of the three, someone has a disabled arm. Maybe the business owners want to hire those people, so they're not on the clock. Oh, like, like uh, doing it to themselves. You know what I'm saying? They can't, like, that. <laughs> so they... You said like, they masturbate so much. No, no, no. They recruit these people to work there, so they're not... So they can't do it. So oh, on, while it. they're on their shift, they but can't. They can probably do it with their better arm. Oh yeah, but that's like counting the change and stuff. Oh, uh, so you're saying <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, listen, we want somebody with a disabled arm because they won't be able to jerk off <laughs> on the clock. Yeah. Dude, something. we should we should get we should apply for a job there and get a job interview if we got to. We got to record a job interview. Oh at the my God! Store. Yes, I dare. Do you get in there? Like, uh, can you stock this shelf right here? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You ever worked a dildo before? Yeah, I've held, <laughs> I've held a dildo before. <laughs> and like the the uh, physical test is like changing the batteries and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Like, what about the uh, the dildo warehouses? Like where they would make them or on the assembly line? What do you think that's like? I don't see how you can not chuckle at some point. <laughs> Like if you're working a, a dildo line and like say you put like the latex over the penis, yeah. Like this is your movement all day at work. Like a dildo comes by one, two, three, and then it slides by one, two, three, and it slides by yeah. each. And there must be one that's so extreme, so veiny or something, like something correct, like a alien looking one that you gotta like, chuckle, kinda of spit on it, because you laughed at it. You think there's testers? Ooh. Yeah, I mean I'm sure that there's yeah, it's probably like reviews. People leave for Google review. Like, hey, I stuck this up my butt and it pierced my hernia. Oh my gosh. My that, we got oh, to, wait, my hemorrhoids. We yeah. gotta read Google reviews of vibrators. Yes. That'd be great. Oh no. Let's make it man the man. Flushlights. But do you think people people probably want to hear more about dildos than they would be flashlights? They don't want to think about something. <laughs> this doesn't look good. Right now. Um, Dude, I, uh, there's a car in front of us not too long ago. Google uh, like some oh, vibrators yes. and let's okay. read some reviews, man. There's one that I know of is a uh, rabbit, uh, thumping rabbit or something. What about the car in front of us, though? Oh, there's a. I saw this bumper sticker. It was white and black, right? Yeah. And uh, from a distance, I was like, oh, that's a vagina. Like, it was structured like the fallopian tubes and the, the uterus yeah or you know what i mean isn't that like the isn't that the uh, tenacious d mascot or something uh no but we draw i'm not sure or maybe we pulled closer <laughs> it was a cow because the cow's ears and the, the was it a, a pun or anything or was it just a cow uh it's just a cow's head Uh, Man, I, uh, one time... Whoa. So, alright, Amazon... I'm oh, sorry, you go on. No, 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 go ahead. I, I was just, I was going to try to fill some dead air while you look, but if you got it, do uh, it. I got it right here. This is, uh, Amazon.com, number one bestseller. Realistic dildo for beginners. Throat trainer with strong suction cup based for hands-free play. Can't pronounce this next word. It's the company. It kind of seems like it's like a rip-off place. No, it looks... Throat awesome. trainer? Throat trainer, it says. Wait, I don't see that. Yep, there it is. 13... Six, dude, that is way more expensive. Any this. reviews? Yes, that's... Oh, yeah, that's what we're going for. <laughs> that's what, that's what, that, this is the whole point. <laughs> we're not shopping, Jeff. <laughs> we're looking to read the reviews. <laughs> There's way better ones than this one. Let's let's shop for a different one. That price is terrible. All right, I'm looking for the reviews. All right, what are we going to say, man? I can't find the reviews. Uh, so, I, me and my buddy, he was driving. We He stopped at uh, one of these stores before. And he had TVs behind his headrests. Yeah. And he bought a porno and played it while we were driving and I'm like oh, this man. is weird that was weird so it's on the you know playing while we're driving down the road on the back of the was it up huh was it like that when people hear it there was no reviews on there yeah I flew off out to one so it's similar <laughs> that's too that's a pretty realistic product. if Holly okay all right here's a review of what what's right. the product Alright, I'll read some and then you'll read some while you're driving. <laughs> I ordered this for my fiance and after she used it, I felt I needed to write this review to elaborate on some things about this product that make that we thought featured buyers would want to know. By the way, they got a five star, very realistic, perfect price. <laughs> <laughs> this is the description of it. Yes. Uh, first of all, there is no rubber smell to it like toys have. 
We was shocked as, ha as to how realistic this was. From top to bottom, the details of this dildo was beyond any that we have seen. <laughs> Not only does this look real, it really does have a very flesh-like feel to it as well. It's very bendable but bouncy right back into shape. Of course. Oh, good. Good. That's good. Are you getting aroused, man? <laughs> <laughs> I saved it. <laughs> yeah, I only did a flip. <laughs> get car sick reading this dildo review. Are you? A little bit. Sorry, man. No, I'll, I'll start for third. This, 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 this is, is for the views. <laughs> uh, no, only does it. Okay, bendable bounces right back. Like, so it has a has a little, little movement and wait, where am I? So it has very shit. So it has a little movement and gives it back. I swear, this is how I'm reading it. <laughs> it's hard to. Go to the next one. All right, next review. So they liked it, five stars. All right, let's go to a one star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven percent. This is a bad review. Too soft. Too soft, waste of money. That's one star. The material not durable. I heard that problem, man. That's not durable. Is that about me? <laughs> <laughs> With the too soft and not durable. <laughs> one seven percent. Not worth the money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, this one, hair on product. Ooh! There was a hair on the product when I opened it. Very unsanitary and obviously not mine. It made me feel gross. I don't like hair on my food when I go to a restaurant, so why? <laughs> Whether there be hair in the intimate product. <laughs> I just hope it wasn't used and was just <laughs> from the manufacturer. <laughs> Small. This, oh man, this is, what a bummer. <laughs> uh, this product is way smaller than I thought it would be. It got me wet, but just barely. <laughs> <laughs> got that WAP, baby. Uh, Couldn't get that WAP. Nah, a little WAP. Yeah, uh, like K WAP, kind of WAP. Like a broken uh, water fountain WAP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a little, uh, like, uh, you know. A, little, a sink with a tight, like a clog. Like a little, like a little drip WAP. Wop. Drip wop. Drip drop. Not that wop, baby. Not for beginners at all. <laughs> someone says it's too small and someone says it's not for beginners. Oh, so someone this just is... wrote yuck. <laughs> not for beginners. Not for beginners, but it's too small. That's all I got, brother man. Alright. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I I'm sick now. I got a headache. Oh, man, I'm sorry. You want to stop with this KFC right here? It's got a really good buffet. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that should make me feel better. <laughs> you can barely taste it. Uh, man, I, uh, when I went to WKU, uh, which is a Bowling Green, there's a place called uh, Franklin, Kentucky. It's about a 45-minute drive, maybe, from yeah. Bowling Green. I rode my bicycle there. And me and a buddy of mine rode our bikes there, ate KFC buffet, and rolled the way back. And it was suffered. a 35 minute car ride there? Yeah. So, bike ride, it's got to be like, almost two hours? Yeah, yeah, two, two and a half. So, you rode your bike there to eat KFC? Yeah, and then rode back. We felt sick on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> and you probably blamed, you blamed the KFC? Oh, hell yeah, we did. <laughs> I was like burping up gravy and shit on the way back. <laughs> That's Sweat. like that meme that rides the bicycle and they put the stick in the yeah. smoke. <laughs> Why can't see this to me? <laughs> oh uh, man, that's good. Dude, another time, some random, uh, I couldn't sleep one night. So I got up and rode to Franklin and it was already like 11 o'clock in the evening. What's the Franklin? Uh, it's the, uh, the town. That oh, you rode to Franklin. I thought yeah. you said you rode the Franklin. I rode the Franklin train. You ever heard of it? Uh, you ever rode a train? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I rode a, a bullet train. Oh, no So, shit. yeah, when I was in Spain, we were six hours away from Madrid. And that's where I had to go to uh, go to some embassies. Yep. So we were, it was a six-hour car ride, two-hour ride on the bullet train. So yeah, we were there. Yep, cut two off the hours. Wire. Yeah, two hours there. That's insane. This thing was going like you don't want to look out the window. If you think reading that review made you sick, 
and that was because of the motion sickness, but not because you were opposed to the dildo. But, <laughs> <laughs> but looking out the window of a bullet train, I mean, you don't even get to see any of the sceneries or anything. We're taking a ride on Eastern Parkway here off of Preston. Got the pole on the left. It's got the pole on the left. China Joe. Oh no, China One. I thought it said China Joe. China Joe. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds racist. China Joe. That's like a. That's a redneck trying to open up a Chinese restaurant because he's trying. He's trying to profit off of it. That. Their like ideas a, and like a guy who opened up Taco Bell is like some probably some white dude. Oh yeah, no doubt. So you're saying like some dude who's like just grew up deep south Kentucky opens up a China buffet. Thanks. China Joe, I'm Joe, but I'm, no, no, now I'm China Joe. <laughs> <laughs> and the only thing he's got is like he's got uh, fortune cookies. Oh, yeah. like, everything else is pizza. Oh, <laughs> like you see, when you go to a China buffet, there is that pizza there. Yeah, like, and chicken tenders. And but fries. he has everything else with one China option. I love a good uh, hibachi buffet. Yeah. And uh, I always look at the pizza and all that. Yes. I don't know. I'm never going to get it. No, I never get it. But either. I just look at it. <laughs> yeah. Also, look at that in the soft serve. I do eat the shit. If they have soft serve, yeah. I used to tear that up. I wish more places did. Dude, I used to do, uh, I used to just eat twice a day, I remember at some point, where I would eat. Uh, when I was in school, that we had like meal plans, and the way I had the lowest amount that you could have because it was the cheapest plan. Yeah. But dividing all that up, that was two meals a day, and then one on one day, or that was like if you ate, if you wanted to eat twice a day, whatever you can divide it up. Was this you? This was you meal prepping. No, or this was, this was the like, rules. This was WKU. Like they would feed you, but you would have you have to buy a meal plan. Oh, so these were the rules. Yeah, so it's like, say if you got a foot long, that's two meal plans. But where I messed up is that they have like a buffet area where you go in there, you can choose whether you're going to have like eight different food options. So you just stuff your face in the morning and then stuff your face at dinner, you're good to go. Yeah. Dude, I gained 30 pounds freshman year <laughs> doing that shit. Dang, so you, that freshman 15, you did it twice. I did it times two. <laughs> Dang, dude. I guess you get it, I mean, if you were going to a red shirt freshman, I guess you just get it out of the way year one, you know? I, I like if you failed or something. Can you fail? Can you get held back in college? Yeah, yeah. I didn't pass. I got a D in a class, and because they only want C's or better, which, if you want to see or better, why not? Why do you, why stop at C? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about stop at D? If you get a D, you still pass because you just suck at taking tests. What if you're a good student, but you suck at tests? Yeah, like you're not gonna be taking that test anyways out in the world. What if you're better at? Uh... Yeah, like I wanted to be an elementary teacher, right? Yeah. Because I couldn't pass fucking elementary education. But you're not, even, and you're not even going to be the one taking the elementary school test. No, I just got to teach kids different principles on how to get four out of two plus two. Yeah, those kids are going to be the one taking the test. You aren't. Plus, I wouldn't listen to the school program anyways. I would teach those kids how to read a tape measure. Yeah, that's what they need to know anyway. Listen, kids, this tape measure, this is a level. This is math. This is geometry. This is shapes and shit. Like being able to graft, you know. Uh, El building the birdhouse was tough on me. What the hell was that? I think I kind of came up with another uh, uh, line for that goldfish one. Yes. <laughs> Just out of, Let's hear it. Uh, like, a goldfish running away to Nevada would have been like me running away to Catholic school. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's stupid. We're just We're just throwing things out there right now. Dude, I got to set up. I got to set up for one where it's... Uh, what does the coronavirus and pedophiles have in common? And I, I haven't really figured. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> There's no punchline to it yet. No, not yet. I just got the uh, what they have in common. I can't think of. I'm trying to think like. Oh gosh. I, I, I want to say something about like uh, kids aren't affected or something, or people don't talk about no. it. Yeah, I think it should work. <laughs> 
this is the worst. So we're turn, about to turn left on the Barstown Road from Eastern Parkway. You, everybody knows where we're at. The Qdoba's on the right. The uh, Boom Boss is on the left. Everybody. This left turn is the worst left turn in Louisville, I say. I would, uh... I would almost agree with that. This left turn is terrible. One, the green arrow only lasts like one and a half cars, maybe. <laughs> and if you don't get the green arrow, you got... It seems like the whole entire city is on the other side coming straight. Yes, because it kind of... That guy's wearing his mask on his elbow. Yeah, a little like elbow pad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I got the antibodies in my mouth, so, uh, but my, uh-oh, see, green arrow, one right, car, go. two car, see, oh, yellow. one oh, and a shit. half cars, dude, I told you, damn, you called it, bro, he's asleep, one and a half cars, <laughs> gosh, damn. I should have betted my, uh, should have bet the farm on that, <laughs> <laughs> not the farm, man, not again, <laughs> you already lost it once for us, <laughs> yeah. Enos, damn you, Enos, now got it back. Enos, that was a uh, character in Brokeback Mountain. Oh, was it really? Was that... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Heath Ledger's. R.I.P. Heath Ledger. Yeah, R.I.P. Heath Ledger. Those damn Olsen twins. Olsen twins? Olsen twins. What did what, what they do? I think he was in their apartment when he... Oh, fuck. Did they have drugs on them? Uh, I would almost assume. Oh, shit. What the hell's going on here? But if you... If you uh, co-starred next to Bob Saget for all your life, you probably would, too. <laughs> Damn, man. I'm just kidding. Shout out to Bob Saget. We don't know each other, but shout him out. <laughs> Dude, I felt bad about something I said today. I was uh, texting C. Charles. I called C. Charles after work yesterday, right? Yeah. Well, when he called me back, I just got in the shower. So I texted him and said, hey, getting in the shower, don't think about me naked. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but uh, he said, he re I didn't call him back. And um, I got, I went to bed early last night. I got up this morning and he texted me and he said, have you washed your balls yet? <laughs> and I said, no, just got out of the shower. This was like 9.30. I said, Holly Gilbert graped me. <laughs> Holly Gilbert great <laughs> What does that mean? Now, all right, it's a movie reference. From, yeah. Uh, it's Johnny Depp, Leonardo DiCaprio, right? From Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Yes. That, <laughs> that, that Johnny Depp, yep. Uh, no, I mean, is that the movie reference? No, Gilbert Grape I is a... Uh, oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, I'm man, I, I get what you're saying. Really you fucking with me, man? <laughs> <laughs> Not one thing uh, Gilbert Grape. Leonardo DiCaprio play, plays a teenage boy, which back then I don't think they, they didn't call it autism, but looking at it now, like he probably has a severe autism. Yeah. But there's a scene in the movie where Johnny Depp gives Leonardo DiCaprio a bath. He hates baths. And a girl, <laughs> like, shows up and he goes hang out. He goes hang, you know, he leaves his brother, Leonardo DiCaprio, in the tub. Yeah. Well, a whole night goes past and Leonardo, and Johnny Depp goes back in the bathroom and Leonardo DiCaprio is still in the tub. He's like shivering. So I was referring referencing that Holly left me in the shower. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I got lost when I seen a guy carrying the amp and all that into the <laughs> I know you did. into the caravan like what is this guy what's this guy got up his sleeve? Real quick. Um, what the hell are you doing, bro? We're going to drive around. Evan Lewis was outside. We're going to see if we can get him on. Ooh. And say what's up to the uh, cast real quick. Where's he at? While we are... He was outside in front of the caravan. While we are... Uh, Look at these pedest pedestrians. What's going on here tonight? Someone's listening to the Smiths. While we are... Um, trying to close this up too wait so you saw evan in front oh i don't see oh this is a one way duh yeah, yeah 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 well if we get him on and then uh oh there's not a car seat you don't think he's gonna uh, uh people are gonna get jealous <laughs> oh definitely totally i took my seatbelt off i'm 
a rebel, bro. Oh, God, dude. All right, I'm stopping. Calls. We're not going until you put it back on. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, but... <laughs> the car will tell you what to do. You ever been to this movie theater right here? I have. Yeah, I have pretty not. cool. I didn't even know it was here until. Really? You didn't know this was here? I never go this way. Dang, man. This is the way I, I come in through this way. Dang. We're in the garage. In the car. <laughs> now this car is going to come right behind us and make it all awkward while I stop. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull up to the side. Make it look like we're doing a drug deal. You have to do. They're probably gonna think we're following around. Like, what the? F well, too bad we don't look like we're in like black and white suits <laughs> <laughs> with the uh, earpiece when they would drive by. <laughs> we got him. Watch him not even be out there. He is. There he is. He's on the phone. Get him. Dude, what's up, dude? Hey, man. Get in here, dude. Coming to this club. We're. We're recording an episode of In the Garage right now, man. What's up? Say what's up. What's up? I'm on the phone with Rich Raggins. What's, oh, what's up? up, Rich? Oh, man, we better move. They're going to get mad. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is gone. Damn it. <laughs> they ain't weird flex, but okay. On the phone with Rich Reagans. That was a weird flex. Me and Jamie don't talk on the phone like that. <laughs> 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 don't call me. <laughs> It's getting work, man. All right, fellas. Jealous. Fellas. <laughs> All right. Uh, in the garagers. In the garagers. We, uh, we just pulled in. Um, we're hitting up the open mic here at. Show the people. The Caravan Comedy Club. Amen. So uh, maybe we'll get. Maybe we'll hop back on after it's over and or oh, yeah. after we leave or whatever and. Yeah, dude, on the way back, why not? See what's up. All right. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Peace, love, harmony. Mask up. I can't breathe. <laughs>